Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning again. Uh, I am Dr. Shafiq Fauzi Kamru Zaman present to you for another chapter for Computer Architecture Organization. So, previously we have been looking into chapter 5 under chapter memory. So, today I will discuss about the lab section under this uh, chapter. So, let's take a look at the lab chapter. So before I start, okay, I would like to thank everybody for subscribing and giving the likes on my video. So hopefully this will be this will continue to be beneficial for you guys in the in the future. Okay, so okay, let's go and take a look. So supposedly, okay, this is a lab chapter for chapter five. And so let's start to take a look at the lab task. So now Okay, so in our first uh, question is to define the memory technology that we have uh, listed in here. So based on this, so let's take a look at what memory technology and what description that we have. So first one is the register. So what exactly a register? So you can define register as a Okay, a small memory that is located inside small memory that is located inside a CPU. Okay, and it's fast, however, less in capacity. Okay, and then we have. The example is CPU black uh, CPU general purpose register. So this one we have already discussed in chapter four, okay, in assembly languages. Next, okay, we have the random access memory. as main memory inside the computer so this one is a read and only memory so in this one the answer is hard drive and then this one is another version of only memory a better say the portable version of a only memory so example is cd rom many the tape is a old version of Read only memory. So example is cassette tape. Okay, so here you have all the uh, description and the example provided for you. So let's take a look at the next question. So memory hierarchy and memory technology. So let's take a look which memory technology located in this in which location inside the hierarchy so basically the top one supposedly is the register next is the cache memory because this is also located inside the cpu but not as fast as the register however faster than the ram next is the ram okay and then the hard drives and finally the external drive okay so this is the answer for question number two and then we go to question number three. So they ask us to find out the coded word for this code, that is data. So in this case, it doesn't mention whether it's a big endian or little endian. So just assume it's a big endian. So a big endian, usually we have, okay, let's uh, write some using a different color. Oops. 
so I write in a different color code red okay so put a b okay in the fourth position c and also in the eighth position d so this one's supposed to be read as well and this read as well So the parity bit is a a b c d So the parity bit is the A, B, C, D. And the correct data is basically the answer for this uh, question. So how to find the A, B, C, D? So let's take a look at the coded data. So for A, okay, so let's change the color first. Okay, A is where you have skip one, uh, take one and skip one. So then just okay, A is the blue color. Oops. Okay, so this one is the blue color one. Okay. So here you got the total for A is, okay, so A is, total for A is 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1, 1 is 3. So this one supposed to be an odd. So it's a 1. So A here, the answer will be 1. So next we go for B. So since we already got A, we change A to 1. So B now. Okay, let's take a look at B. So we change the color for B. So B now, we have, okay, I think instead of using this, it's better use highlight. It's easier. B is 2, 2. Skip 2. Okay. So you see that inside this green section, the total of 1 and 0 is 3. Also 3, which is an odd. Okay. This one is 1. And then we go towards C. So we have for C. So this one is 1. And B is 1. So let's change color back to black. So we will not confuse later on. Okay. So, so now we want to have C. So how do you get C? C is take 4, skip 4. So take 4 and skip 4. So here the total is 1, which is an odd, so also 1. And finally, C is also 1. And finally, we have D. So for highlighter, we don't need highlight. So D here, in this case, we don't need this anymore. Okay, we can change color back to black. And then D is take it, skip it. So this one change color to red. So the total here is D is 
2. So in the end, the answer is 0, even. So this one is even. So the answer is 0. So here we have C is 1. And the last one is 0. So the answer for this is 1, 1, 0. And this one is 1 and 0. Okay, so finish your third task. So next we're going to do is uh, for Hamming code. Under Hamming code again. Okay, you have a coded data. And you want to correct them into the correct answer. So let's take a look at the parity bits first. So which one is the parity bits? So basically, this kind uh, for this time is just we are going to change the. Are we going to do it backwards basically? Okay, we're going to do it backwards. Okay. So you have this A equal 1, B equal 1, C equal 1, and D equal 1, and D equal 0. Okay, so what is the actual data? So now, okay, we think that the actual data is 11000010. Okay, so this might be our actual data. Okay, we remove this. This might be, might be our actual data. However, we are not sure whether it's the correct data or not. Okay, so what we have to do now is for us to calculate again, okay, whether the A is, uh, A is correct, A, B, C, D is correct or wrong. So let's take a look at the first A. So A is, take one, skip one. Okay, so this one you have to exclude. Okay, so A. So what exactly is A? So let's take a look. So A is total is, okay, 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1. So total is 3, which is odd meaning that the answer is 1. So you see that A and uh, the calculated A and the current A is okay. So we can put uh, icon, okay, here. So you can put it correct here. So A is correct. Then next we go towards B. So B here. So we remove all the the highlight first. So this one is B. So B here we use a different color. use yellow okay so two and two take two skip two okay so when you do take two skip two here in b 
Okay, let's check again. Are you doing this correctly or not? Okay. Okay, this one is B. So B is 1 plus 0, 0, 0, 1. So B is supposed to be 2. So even. And it's 0. And now this one is wrong. Okay, cross. Okay, so we have this one for the second one. Then we check for the third one. So this one is C. Okay, so it's take four, skip four. Now just just in case I do D as well. <coughs> okay, so this one eight. So what is the best color here? Um, gray so here is c so when you see c the answer is one even uh, odd one and d is is one odd <laughs> so if you look at here okay you can see that B and D is wrong. You see, B is supposed to be 1 here and D is supposed to be 0. However, parity bit usually they are right. Okay, usually they are right. So the problem might be left in the data space here. So somewhere within the black, uh, the black area part, which is the data bits, so data, there are damages. So now, how do you find this kind of damage? Okay, you look back at the data. Okay, start with the bottom. So D, D is wrong. So the data range that the one is wrong is within this range. Okay, so and then B is wrong. So since D is in this range, so B also might be within this range. Okay, so the data should be either this one or this one. Okay, however, if you look at A, okay, one of the data is in A and A is correct. So this part, okay, this part is correct. So it means that the overlapping between B and D only occurs at this data. So originally, this one is wrong. So this data here is wrong. Okay, uh, this data here is wrong. So supposedly the third data from the right, okay, is wrong. So this one is wrong. So let's change it into the correct data. So the correct data is the correct data is one one zero zero zero. One, one zero. Okay, so this one is wrong. So now you got the correct data. 
<coughs> okay, so finish with the fourth question. Now the last question. So this one example of using big Indian and also little Indian. So let's take a look back. Okay, how does big Indian and little Indian start? Okay, so big Indian start from the left side. Okay, so the left side start at zero. And but little Indian, the right side start at zero. So basically you just put in. Okay, so here 3A goes here. And then for it, then three B, then A C. Okay, so for little Indian, same thing here. Three A, four A, three B, four A C. So if you look at, so for big Indian, they start with address 00, zero. however, little India start with address 03, okay? So because of uh, the word address start from the left, uh, start from the right. Big Indian, the word address start from the left, okay? So for the, for the block address here, okay, it remain the same, however, the word address is different, the arrangement is different. Okay, so that's all for our lab session for today. So hopefully you can finish this task, okay, by the time uh, we finish the deadline. So I see you guys later next time during our class. So I'm Dr. Shafiq Fauzi Kamaruzaman. Thank you very much for supporting me. I'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye.